XRP. We start with one of our chart. We want to see how we can look for trade. First of all, if we refer to our analysis since the price was within this move, I mentioned the price haven't broke broke the previous stop, but there was no continuation. Then I mentioned we expecting the price to look for drop. That's why I mentioned we're looking for a down move. Even this one turned to a deeper move, it could give us better confirmation. And the best way to look for sell was here. It was so simple to look for trade because when we see this kind of the deep correcting correction, um, the corrective move, sharp move correction, the only way to look for trade by having entry below this one, which is around 1.02. Okay. And with the breakout of 0.98, we start to manage. And even if we refer to our analysis, I was, since the price was within this move, I mentioned I'm expect, I'm looking for the price to drop and we put 0 .9, 0 0.96 and 0 0.91 as a target. The first target tag, the second target almost there. Okay, we mentioned we want the price to drop within this zone. Okay, that's why I was mentioning buying at the top is not a really good idea. Even this one turned to a deeper move, it could give us better confirmation for price to drop. Okay, even internally we had a small trade for buy, but mostly whatever, because I mentioned whatever the trade for buy is, is a short term trade and we try to not, I mean, mostly I won't cover in this and the analysis, we're looking for the long term and the big move. Okay, and this is what we get. I don't want to say that, I mean, one thing I need to highlight here, in this analysis, I try to cover how we can look at the chart, how we can read the chart. Simply, we cannot say buy, buy or sell or sell. We don't have any reasons to do that. And I, I never say whether it's going to the moon or not, okay? The only things I want to highlight, how we can look for a chart, how we can trade it. And we cannot be right all the times. But when we know how to read the charts, how to manage it, at least if we see the price is not moving in our direction, then we need, at least we can look for the different options. That's why we have a different options. Before we look for trade, we talk about all the options, all the possibility. Then at the end, I say what I'm looking for, okay? It doesn't mean I'm, selling, I'm telling it's going up or down. I wanna see what's the option we have there, how we can look for the chart. And at the end, what we're looking for. And if the price it didn't move in our direction, then what's the next? Because we know, know about the different possibility as well. Okay, anyway, since we, what I want to highlight here, I'm not trying to give the signals. I'm trying to see, I mean, at least let the traders know how we're looking at the chart. Mostly for those traders, uh, if they are a beginner, at least they can learn, okay? And since, again, since the price was within this move, I mentioned we're expecting the price to drop and we have been looking for 0 0.96 and 0 0.91 as a target or where we start to manage our trade. And right now, whoever get the trade, either from here or here, it depends. Right now, if they wanna keep the trade, at least move their stop loss to break even. Okay, we don't need these lines anymore. And we wanna see whether the way this one is forming with the sharp move, technically we can expect the price to drop some more. Okay, but right now we wanna see what's the next and how we can look at the chart at the bigger picture. If we move to forward chart, I explain that. We have the sharp move down. Now we wanna see whether this is a flat and the price can retest the previous low or this is the start of the up move. This is the difficult part to look for. The first thing is even this one, if turned to a flat for one, the price to drop, I don't think the next drop can be similar to what we get here because in the bigger picture, we are in this move, okay? That's why we try to look at this as a reversal point. That's why we mentioned we can expect this one drop similar to what we have here. We look at this one in relative to this. For next move, why may this one tend to deeper move? But at the same time, we need to know that we can put this one as a flat and may this, this is the one is going to retest and even the price to even break the previous low. That's why based on one hour chart, I was expecting the price can drop. And sometimes when I'm talking, the price is going to drop exactly when the price was within this move, after we get this down move, okay? I see a lot of the comments why I'm giving a negative things or why I'm every time I'm highlighting that it can give us one more drop, okay? The reason is we're looking at the chart. We want to see what we can get the, from the chart, okay? And right now, what I see here, even if you move to our uh, analysis in my last video, we mentioned we're looking at this. 
When we put this one as the flat, I'm looking at the bigger picture. That's mean we can expect the price to retest the previous low. This is the one of the option. And beside that, we mentioned, how about if this is the start of the up move? That's why when the price was here, I mentioned at least we're looking for one more drop similar to what I have here. Then I will look at this one for the internal correction relative to this for one more up. Then what's the next right now? Whether this is the start of the down move to retest the previous low, or this one can turn to a deeper move for USR. We cannot conform with that right now because we don't have any information. Then what's the next? When I see this kind of the sharp move, I expect if I, we see the deeper correction here, we can expect the price to drop. And if you're looking for the reversal, we don't want to see the breakout of the previous stop, which is 0 0.8. Okay, that's why I say we don't have the confirmation yet. If I get any corrective move, have one more drop, then from there we look at the indicators. Then from there we can see whether there is a continuation or not. Okay, then the only things are right now I can see here, technically when we have this sharp move, correction, if this one tends to the corrective move, we can look for one more drop. But it doesn't mean the price cannot reverse from here. I'm not, as, I'm not saying we can sell right now, even we don't have any sell setup. All right, but at least we want this one turn to a deeper move, at least similar to this one, before I look for reversal. Then how we can look for trade if I move to one hour chart? Okay, again, what we see here, we can expect the price to drop. But if I want to look for sell, if right now, it doesn't give me an opportunity to look for, because the only way, put my entry below here. And simply because of what I get here, I'm not going to do that. The only times I will look for sell, if this one turned to a deeper correction, it can give me better confirmation and I can look for the sell within the correction. Similar what we get here. When the price was within this move, we mentioned the only way to put over entry below this. But when we see this one, we could sell within this, within the correction. And after the price retest the previous low, we could move our stop loss to break even. Okay, that's why if this one turned to a deeper correction, it can give me better opportunity to look for sell within the correction and with the breakout of this low, I start to manage. And right now, if I put my entry below here, simply the price can take and reverse. It doesn't mean the price cannot drop. It can, but it's where we risk it to look for, especially what I have here. And I'm not going to call this one as a flag because already we have here. Okay, then I won't say we're going to sell here. I will say if I want to look for sell, I wait this one for deeper correction. Why? Because if the price is going to reverse, mostly we won't get the deeper correction. We can look for the sharp move flag. Okay, then how to look for sell or buy. If I see any sharp move flag, then we can call it a reversal, we take the trade. But if this one tend to deeper move, then for sure we can get one more drop. And right now, the only way is if the price give us me, give me drop to put our entry below this. We are not going to call it. Even, I mean, we're not go going to look for trade. Even the price drop, I just let it go. Because I want, for me, I want to look for the reversal. I'm, I'm interested in the buy, not sell. That the only times I was looking for the sell when the price was within this move. The reason is, I wanna see whether we can get one more drop from here. Then I put this one in relative to this for flat, for reversal or not. This is what I'm looking for, okay? That's why selling from here is not really good idea. I mean, it's not priority for me. The only times I will look for sell if this one turned to deeper move, it give me a sell setup. Then if the price drop, just let it drop, okay? But how about if the price reverse from here? The only times we can look for sell, if it's a sharp move, flag or correction, then we take the trade. And we need to see what's how, I mean, even we call it a trade setup, we wanna see how it formed before we take the trade. Simply we cannot say any sharp move flag, we take the trade. We need to see, okay? This is the reasons I wanna get the deeper correction. Because if this one turned to a deeper correction, it can give us better opportunity for the price to drop and there is the and the possibility of the price to reverse will be very less
buying or selling right now within this move is not really a good idea. Okay, the only things I can see right now we don't have any any trade setup. And again, if anyone wants to sell from here, the only way is to put the entry below this. Rather than that, we don't have any other options. How about if I move to 15 minutes? All right. Can we put this one as a flat? Yes. Can we expect the price to drop? Yeah, there is a possibility there. But how to look for sell? As I mentioned, can we get, if we get a fly, a sharp move fly, can we sell within this one? If anyone is looking for the 15 trade as a 15, for 15 minute or five minute chart, maybe they can look for. If this one give us any sharp move like they take the trade with the breakout of this low, they start to manage it. Okay, but right now I cannot confirm with that because I don't see anything. The only thing is if we want to look for sell, let this one turn to deeper move. Maybe another three to four, maximum five hours. If the, this one turn to a deeper correction, then any trade for sell, we will take it. How deep it can go later when we get the trades uh, set up, I will share the targets. But if I see any reversal flag, then from there we know the price is not going to drop. From there we can look for buy. This is the only things right now I can see. Rather than that, we don't have any other information. Either the price short period reverse or drop, we just let it go. If we don't have any trade setup, we need to get the trade setup. This is the only things I can see. And I'm expecting this one turn to deeper move because I want to see this move. If I want to look for buy. Okay. Anyway, we don't have any trade setup. The only thing is whoever get the trade for sell, they should start to manage. And technically, when we see this kind of the sharp move following a corrective move, we can expect the price to drop. Okay, in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update or trade setup that can give us a confirmation for the next move, I will share. And thanks.